Merry Christmas adventurers and welcome back to Abnormal Voyages. My name is David and today we find ourselves in the great state of Florida. We're going to show you a couple of amazing Christmas things for a true Floridian Christmas. We begin here at West Palm Beach at Sandyland where they celebrate with that favorite beach substance, sand. As you can see behind me, this is the country's largest completely sand-made tree. They've also got some other sculptures around here to really get you in that festive spirit. So let's go all out. Come tag along. We're going to a place that you've never heard of before. It's This sandy tradition has only been around for about a decade, but it has been a huge hit, and people travel from all over the country to see Sandy. This tree is certainly a work of art. It stands about 35 feet tall and weighs a whopping 700 tons. That is a lot of sand. As you make your way around Sandy, you're able to see a lot of the sponsors that helped make this event possible, and lots of different little friends who have decided to spend their Christmas here. There's turtles, sharks, fish, even a very friendly dolphin. Sandy usually goes up at the end of November and is here all through December. There are also several special events that happen around Sandy, including the chance to have breakfast with Santa Claus. So if you ever stop by for a visit, make sure you check that calendar to see what awesome things are happening. Now before night falls, let's check out some of the other sand sculptures that happen to be nearby. This first one says that this is the number one best public holiday light display in the USA. And lots of dogs and cats here with the giant first place trophy. Now the holiday season at its heart is all about love. And that's what this sculpture proudly displays with two dolphins cuddling up together. Very cute. Everybody likes a little bit of live music, and that's what this underwater band is striving to deliver. As you make your way around to the back side of this display, you see that this group is actually the Seedles, very similar to the Beatles. And you can meet two of their star players. Right here we have Paul McCrapney, See, yeah, there he is with his guitar. And over on the other side, you just might catch a glimpse of Ringo Starfish. That's right, he's here drumming his heart out just for you. And of course, you can't miss on top, the walrus. The last big sculpture that's been erected here celebrates live theater. One of the nearby centers has some amazing productions year round, and this mermaid is here to help show you the bright side of comedy and tragedy. And once night has fully fallen, Sandy springs to life and a brilliant light show begins. Let's see if we can catch it.
Well, that was definitely an amazing show by Sandy, but now we're gonna head up the coast and see some more Christmas spirit. Welcome to Celebration Florida, a small town that sits right on the doorstep of the Walt Disney World Resort. The community here came together to create their own Christmas magic by putting up some amazing light displays on their house. Come along as we take a quick drive through the neighborhood. Collectively, this beautiful display of lights is usually called the Lights on Jeter Bend. So sit back, relax, and enjoy these lovely houses. We're now in St. Augustine. The entire town bands together 
to create the beautiful display known as Knights of Lights. Let's check it out. The Knights of Lights truly are a beautiful display, and they even have a great and festive story behind them. Way back in the days of Mary and Joseph, an inn would place a single white candle in their window to signify that there was vacancies. Of course, when Mary was pregnant and about to give birth to the baby Jesus, they were unable to find any place that had a vacancy, so there were no white candles. From this story, the Spanish began a tradition where every Christmas season, each house would place a white candle in their window to signify that they had made room in their house and in their hearts for Jesus. Being such an old and historic Spanish city, St. Augustine carries on this tradition with the white lights all over the city to signify that the hearts of St. Augustine are wide open with plenty of room. So now, enjoy the music as we take a stroll through these historic streets. Well, adventurers, that's all the time we have this holiday season. My name is David, and this has been Abnormal Voyages. Thanks for tagging along, and as always, have a very Merry Christmas.